Hi friends, Sparklet here. Hi friends, I am in Riga city, Opera Bridge, my favorite place here. I present to you the first film about Riga from the City and People series. Today we will go to the ancient city of Riga to learn about its historical fortifications and the beautiful city water canal as well as walk along the Opera Bridge and see people. Walking along the canal, you involuntarily think, what was there before? It turns out that the, in the 15th century, there were Riga defensive ramparts with sand embankments built to protect against increasingly modern firearms. The sandbank was chosen as a lighter option, easier to restore compared to the wall. However, this powerful defense system hampered the development of the city, hindering traffic and construction. The history of the city canal is connected with the demolition of the ramparts of Riga. In the 19th century, weapons had already changed a lot and in 1857, Tsar Alexander II allowed the ramparts to be demolished and replaced with the city canal. The project included the use of the canal for the transportation of goods and as a reservoir for firefighting. Along the canal, recreation areas for the town people were planned. The course of the canal partially repeated the course of the Moat. The work went on for a long time, carried out manually with the help of the shovels and wheelbarrows. The banks of the Daugava River were reinforced with soil and the moat was partially filled up, turning into the city canal. Over time, the canal lured its modern look. The city canal is a 3.2 kilometers long artificial water course located in the center of Riga on the right bank of the Daugava River. The canal has a depth of about 2 meters and 16 different bridges. It starts at the central market and flows under the railway bridge. The canal was created with smooth banks and uniform flow. Along its banks are green areas created in the 19th century. The canal also serves as a walking area. In the past, the canal also had practical significance. People living along the banks received delivery of firewood and other goods. The locks at both ends of the canal Andre and Karl were rented out, and the tenants levied taxis on boats and ships passing through the canal. Also, in winter, skating rinks were arranged on the canal, and in summer, boat moorings. In the 19th century, several bridges were built across the canal, two of which have survived almost in their original form. An interesting story is also connected with the bridge at the Opera House, or Timas Bridge. It was also built at the end of the 19th century. The idea of crossing the canal came from the late Professor Wilhelm von Thiem, who in his will wanted to build a bridge in front of his place of work, the Riga Polytechnic Institute, now the University of Latvia so that students could more easily reach the institution. His widow granted his wish, but the requested money was not enough, so in the end the city council also financially supported this project. Look, it's a beautiful sunny day. I'm even a little bit too warm for this day, but I'm gonna change in the hotel. Today, the city canal continues to decorate Riga. On the eve of the 800th anniversary of the city, 
work was carried out to clean the canal and strengthen its banks. Today the canal has come to life thanks to restored boats brought from Sweden, rental boats and SUP stand-up paddle boats. The illuminated bridges at night and the fountains in summer also make this place more attractive. This beautiful historical site continues to delight residents and guests of the city with its unique atmosphere. with me today. Nice. There are many architectural monuments and sculptures along the Riga Canal. Oh my gosh, Mick. <laughs> <laughs> In 1887, the sculptor August Foltz conceived a project for a fountain that would be located opposite the building of the city's first German theatre at that time. Foltz's workshop worked on the interior decoration of the theatre, and Foltz himself came up with the possibility of landscaping the environment of this building and came to the conclusion that the idea of the nymph posing against the background of the theatre could be successful. Thank you for joining me on this exciting journey. It's a very beautiful weather in Riga today. See you in the next film. I will tell you about Vermanis Park and take you through today's Riga. Like and subscribe to my channel. Watch my films and enjoy your life. Your Sparklet.